All right, this episode's not gonna be long, and I mean it. I mean it. Not gonna be long today because uh, that big ass tree that's in my backyard is finally getting taken care of. However, they're also chopping down the rest of it that's left uh, from where it fell. The the actual because like what fell is like most of the tree, not even most of the tree, just a big chunk of the tree fell over. Um, the rest of it's still in the neighbor's yard, so they're getting rid of the whole tree on her side, de-stumping it, and then also getting rid of the one on my side. Um, so, yeah. So, that's, um, happening, and because that's happening, uh, you can't hear anything yet, because, or now, because they're on break, thankfully, so I'm, I finally have time to record, because there was, I, I, I couldn't do it. Like, it was, like, constant noise, like, they are, like, chopping the tree down, and then throwing it in a wood chipper. So if you're not hearing the chainsaws, you're hearing the wood chipper. And uh, yeah, I um, it woke me up today. I mean, I had to start waking up early anyway, so it's no big deal. So let's talk about Saber Leomon real quick. He's doing fairly well in the tournament. Um, although, um, I love him. He's great. He's pretty strong. But um, I do not think that we are strong enough to defeat the, the terror that is Boltmon and Purple Flurp. Uh, they are one strong boy. Uh, one didn't know that Boltmon was a data, so there's no type advantage, type disadvantage happening there. Uh, it's just raw power, I think. That thing is just really strong. Hits like a tank, and uh, yeah, definitely gotta find a good count to count to you know counter it. But completely like blew me out. Uh, three winner Roonies. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was, that was the first three I lost, though. I do, ha like, what's next on the list is I gotta fight Lightama, which hasn't happened yet as I'm recording this. I'll, I'll give you guys an update once it happens. Um, and, um, yeah, that's kind of it. Let's move on to the DMX. I'm a little confused as to what to do because we are, we have Jazzardmon now. Um, who I didn't really recognize. Not even recognize, but like I, I didn't realize it evolved until I really looked at it. And then I was like, wait a second, he's a little little bigger. He looks kind of like a... He looks very awkward. I love him, though. It's cute. I like that the cut into it. It's very nice. But he kind of looks like a baby bird, you know? Like a little awkward, naked baby bird kind of floundering about. It's cute. And it's awkward. He's in the, he's def This is definitely like the awkward teen phase, even though... Um, He's considered an adult in uh, Digimon lingo, but I, I love him all the same. He's fine. Uh, here, we got another dragon. Read him on. I'm getting more care mistakes on him because I don't know where to go from here. Um, so I got two care mistakes, and then I'm going to get him to max level. And I'm going to see where the hell that takes us because if I'm looking here, um, actually, I might need to get more care mistakes. I don't know. Oh, if we got no. Oh, hold on. Let me see something real quick. Ah, uh, no, forget it. If we got no care mistakes, we would have been able to get Grade Mon. That would have been cool. Whoops, messed that one up. So I guess we're going to get Mommy. <sighs> Mommy Mon X again. Um, I guess from there we'll try getting something new. I don't know what I'm doing anymore, guys. <laughs> it's, um, I keep doing that thing where like, I'm just kind of falling into the same evolutions over and over again, which is, again, one of the reasons why I'm thinking of taking a break from the X3s. Because um, this is just how I do. Even when I try to play differently, um, if I don't know exactly where I'm going, I'll just kind of play the same or similarly, uh, and we get the same Digimon over and over again. So, yeah, not the best thing ever. I don't mind Readamon. I like him a lot. He's great. Don't get me wrong, again. But, um, you know, I'd like something new. Uh, Loose Mon, uh, Satan Mode, still here, uh, and still kicking it. I don't know if I want to start just, like, like flat out ignoring him, because I really haven't been taking very good care of him, but he's fine. But, like, I know if I flat out ignore him at this point, he'd probably just, like, heal over now, just because it's been so long. Um, he's been alive longer than most Digimon at this point, so I don't know. Part of me is like, yeah, part of me is like, no, because like, I, I like him, he's so cool. Um, so I, I really, I really don't know. So give me, 
give me a little bit on that and I'll get back to you. <laughs> um, I have one more package coming in. I don't know when it's going to come in. It's 3 o'clock now, so my mailman doesn't come until about 4 or 5. So I don't know if it's going to come in today, but I did get something Digimon related. Because that's just all I've been getting lately. Uh, I am I am now slowing down though. I got to start focusing more on on saving money because for some reason my stimulus check hasn't come in, and I don't know when it's gonna come in or if I'm ever gonna get one. I am eligible. I just don't know what's going on. Um, and there's really no one to talk to or call because the IRS. Um... Sorry, damn chair. Um, the IRS closed their like call centers. You can't really call them uh, to like talk to them about what's going on and what's happening. So, um, like, all they're saying is that just just wait. So I'm just waiting. Um, I could really use that money because I need to fix my car and I need to start saving and I there's stuff I need to do. Um, so that money would really help. Um, but it's just not here yet. So if that's not going to happen, at least, you know, since I'm not going out, I got to start really, really, really focusing on saving money. So, don't expect any, you know, crazy purchases for a while, probably. Then again, there's nothing, like, on... Unless I find a really sick deal on something, there's nothing really on the list that I, I really, really need to get. Um, I'm pretty set, like, as far as, like, my collection. I'm, I'm really, like, happy with where it is. You know, I went from... Oh, crowd, they're starting up again. <laughs> so, let me... I'm going to try to wrap this up, then. Um... Yeah, you know, I have things in my collection now, like, that I have now that I would have never in a million years thought I would ever have. Um, you know, a Progress, an XL, the Minis, you know, those are things I've always wanted to get. But, you know, couldn't find a good deal on them or just, like, didn't have the money. So, you know, that's fun. That's good. Um, with that being said... <laughs> With that being said, I, I have been, uh, I, I, I made a purchase unknowingly, I guess, is what I could, the best thing I could say. I was on From Japan, and I, um, you know, just checking some, some stuff over there, and for some reason, I don't know why, I don't know what it is, it's just like a Shikadian rhythm to me. Every time the summer comes around, I, I want to play Battle Network, Mega Man Battle Network. Um, I don't know what it is, it's just something I really always want to do. And so, um... It's got me thinking about Game Boys and stuff like that. So I've been looking for a Game Boy Micro. I, I really have always been looking for a Game Boy Micro because it was something I always wanted growing up. But like it came out at a time where like my parents did not have the money for it. Um, you know, I didn't even get a DS until like the light came out, which was like way later down the line. Um, so it's just something I always wanted, just because it was so small, it looked so cool. I knew a couple of kids that in like class that had it when it came out, and it was like so like just small and cool. And I always wanted it, and they're like really hard to find. They're really well, not hard to find. They're hard to find at a good price. Um, and so I was like, you know, let me check from Japan. So I checked from Japan, and they had some for some very pretty decent prices. Um, and so I bid on one, not thinking that I would actually win it. And I won it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I was not expecting that. Uh, so that's coming in now. Um, we're not coming in here now. It's getting sent to their warehouse first. Um, the thing, the one thing about it that kind of like I'm a little disappointed at myself in is I didn't see every single picture. And um, it's obviously used. That's not like uh, something I really care about. Um, but, like, it looks like it has a pretty gnarly... Like, it landed on the corner. Because the back of a Game Boy Micro is actually uh, aluminum, I believe. Anodized aluminum. So, I, I'm assuming the previous owner, like, dropped it in the corner. So, there is a pretty gnarly, like, dent and scratch near the... I think it's the R trigger or the L trigger. So, hopefully it's not, like, messed up. I mean, we all know about Nintendium and the Game Boys. I mean, if you look at like my, some of my um, brother's childhood Game Boy stuff, 
you know, it stands the test of time. So I don't think it's going to affect it too much. I just hope it's, you know, it's something I have to open it up for because I've, I've been watching a lot of videos of people opening up micros and it looks like a nightmare. Like I do not want to have to open that up um, because there's a lot of like so many things that can go wrong when opening up a Game Boy Micro. I don't want to risk it because they're so rare and hard to find and a good price anyway. Um, so yeah, um, that's one thing I'm a little disappointed in it. Um, that, that corner, I didn't look at all the pictures, always look at all the pictures, you know, before you bid on something, but it, I still got it for like a great price. It's a color I don't see often or at all. I didn't even know it existed. Um, so, you know, when it comes in, I'll, I'll do a quick video on it and whatnot. Um, and I'm really happy because, you know, it's the micro, the micro is a pretty cool device. Um, there's something else I'm bidding on too currently on From Japan just because again it's a great deal. It's another Link PET EX. This one's not for me though. Um, but it comes with some stuff that would make its price skyrocket if I saw it anywhere else. It comes with, uh, it's it's got like the Kernel Navi chip which is hard to find, the Dark Mega Man Navi chip which is equally as hard to find, the Base Navi chip that alone would sell for a lot. A couple other Navi chips. It's the white device. I wish it was the black one, just because I already have a white one. But again, this one's not mine, so it's, it's fine. Um, it's got it's it's a real hodgepodge, which is the one thing I'm like a little like oh about, just because like sourcing different parts is gonna be hard because it uh, it has the Mega Man, the Dark Mega Man kind of skin. But it's missing the kernel skin, which sucks. But hey, that is what it is. Um, it's got the base Navi emblem in it, but it's missing the base skin, which again is like okay. Um, but again, for the price, you really you, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Um, it's around the same right now. It's uh, the it's being bid on. It doesn't end until like later in the week so I'm gonna wait to see where the price goes I think it's gonna stay steady for a while last minute I'm gonna try to snipe bid it or something uh, to secure uh, a price because it's around the same price that I paid for mine and mine came with way less like both of mine came with just the Navi chip the Mega Man Navi chip the device itself and the like base skin that comes with the actual device were um, this one, although it doesn't have the skins, the proper skins, um, it at least has a nice looking, complete, you know, PET that works, a functioning PET. It's not missing the stylus or anything like that. And it has like this whole slew of Navi chips and a, a, a lot of battleships too. The battleship I'm using, I'm not, I don't focus on that much. But the Navi chips is something I always focus on because those are the ones that usually go for a lot. So yeah, if all that's going through your heads or over your heads, if I do actually win the bid, I'll show it off because um, that's a pretty major win. It's a major W for my collection, for sure. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'm, I said this was gonna be short and here I am going on a seven minute rant about why I need to stop spending money. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Huge shout out to my patrons, Omega Scourge, Casey Joes, you guys are the best. Um, I really do uh, appreciate the fact that you guys support the channel and I support everyone else that's been supporting the channel in these rough times. I know a lot of people are going through a lot. I am too. Um, you know, so we're all here for each other. And um, I'm here for you guys. Stay safe, stay responsible. Stay inside if, you know, unless you need to go outside because there are things we need to do to, to that require us going outside. Um, so, you know, just be responsible, drink your water, all that good stuff. I'm going to go. It sounds like they're about to start up again, which means I ended at the perfect time anyway. So I'll see you guys. Thank you so much. I really, I really do mean that. I really do. I love you guys. Stay safe. Links to all the stuff in the description. And take it easy, guys. Peace.